opportunity to look at an environment and animals that I've never, I've never seen before. have a look at what animals are within this island and compare them to species on the mainland, you know, it would be, you know, we may be seeing evolution in the process. A lot of the species actually fly low and so we're not seeing a lot fly over. are the closest living relatives we have. Some scientists will argue that they make the best test animals for medical research. The vision is quite compelling, so we're going to see what we come up with by taking a look 25 feet below. Well, I think one thing that we've been able to solve in this mystery is that the wolf is completely innocent. There is no way a wolf or even a pack of wolves is capable of this type of killing. So I'm yet to be convinced. This is quite remarkable, a hyena. I mean, there were no hyenas in France at the time. Records of the day show that something was responsible for the horrific deaths of dozens of people. And some of the beast victims were shepherds and shepherdesses. I don't know of any fatal wolf attacks on humans. Can you believe we're in the French Alps? Alexander's most famous hunt involved an incident with ghostly rats. I'm not moving that at all then how could they live successfully in such an extreme environment? But there's definitely an energy about this place, and, it, and it's everywhere. But what we know is that the bedroom is a particular hot spot, so we're going to set up our cameras here overnight and go and check them in the morning. Craig Hamilton Parker is one of Britain's leading psychics. Craig was able to pick up that my grandmother owned three cats. Tell us about when he passed away and, and how you felt. <laughs> I thought he was okay, but when I looked, he was carrying one hind leg out to the side. I don't know, I'm not convinced. But certainly if human spirits exist, then animal spirits must. Hmm. And I was thinking of popping this camera 
just over by the window over there. I don't know what it was, but it caps off a very, very strange night and it continues to get weirder. Well, we only have kangaroos on these camera traps, but there were a few heart-stopping moments where we saw these two little beady eyes and we thought, could this be it? Could we have a thylacine here? And look at the bones. Look at them. It's filled with bones. This is, this is quite remarkable. There are tracks coming all the way back here. It could have been observing us and it may have avoided us for that reason. We're back at Buckland Military Base to check our camera traps. That looks like a beton or something. It is! Oh, fantastic! Many animals use pheromone signals, which are chemical hormones that are secreted from glands in the body that they use to attract the opposite sex. They're obviously very curious about us because they're hanging around. They're not leaving the area. This is the closest that we could have come to getting Bigfoot on the camera. I didn't know what it was, but whatever it was, it looked pretty large. You cannot ignore it. You have to investigate it further. I'm a bit freaked out because these branches are so big and they've been snapped off in various places and they've been strategically placed. When we caught it on film and I saw this thing and it did not look like a deer, I can't think of what animal it could be. I don't know what it was, but it's a small animal and it just goes to show that you really need to check your facts before you get fully excited. Are we absolutely sure? Yep, positive. Oh, good boy, good boy.